Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel. I want to say thank you to everyone who has taken the time to subscribe to my channel. All the time that it takes for you to share and comment and like out of your day to do that for me to help my channel to grow. I truly do appreciate it. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as possible here to get the word out to everyone and I appreciate you who have been here with me from the beginning and all the new people coming to me now. So thank you so much. I have positive intentions out for you daily to all my subscribers for whatever is best for you in your life. And thank you again for all your love and support. This reading is going to be for the Pisces Solar Return. Happy birthday, Pisces. To our Pisceans out there, our return for you is February 19, 2016 through March 20th of 2016 as the sun moves into Pisces. And your mantra is, I believe. So I'm doing a four card spread for you, but as I was cutting the deck, these two cards just kind of wanted to come out. So I will show them as I progress through the video. But here's some beautiful cards here. We start with the sun, we have the devil, the pentacles, and the king of cups. Now we know that the sun is a beautiful thing because it's our light and our, our life force, but it is also appropriate for your solar return, the sun, solar return for Pisces. And it's like the child's got open arms welcoming in a uh, new year, giving you hugs and happy birthday celebration. But this card is talking about some mental clarity here. Now, I don't know if you've had some, um, trying months in the past, even last year, before now, but it's talking about some epiphany, some mental clarity, things becoming very apparent to you now, where they were kind of clouded or jaded before, either with your emotions or even mental, okay? Um, this is saying you're seeing the light now. And with this, the sun, it opens up new opportunities for you too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is achievement. For some of you who've been working on something in this last year, the sun is that crowning glory that you've achieved it. It's um, success. If it's for some of you that have been working on yourself or your relationship or your health, it's saying there's success there for you. It feels like you're brand new. It feels like you're a child ready to embrace the world all over again, starting out very happy. Some new endeavor coming to you perhaps, a new relationship that came to you. Um, more relationship with spirit, you know, getting more messages and signs and understanding the signs and the symbols and what they're saying, maybe even having prophetic dreams. This is when you're saying you're really seeing the light, literally, you are seeing the light here and you just feel like you, you can just take on the world. You see the, the babe on the horse ready to go, innocent and new and that solid brick wall behind you. That's saying there's a solid foundation now for you to go forward on this new chapter of your life, this new year of your life. The sunflower is growing, very spiritual card uh, flowers for me in this card, but they also show life that looks like literally growing from the brick wall, even if maybe they're behind the brick wall, but they've got some stability there because we know how tall they are, you know, and how heavy they can be with those big, big uh, sunflower, beautiful seeded heads, but this wall is supporting it. So we're going to say that you have the clarity now, the wisdom, the sight, the vision. It's shining on you right now. And you're, you've got a solid foundation. You're stable and supported right now. Whatever this new chapter in your life is, this new endeavor that you started, maybe some of you uh, uh, started a whole new uh, regime about yourself. But this is saying success and a strong, solid foundation in this new beginning. And then we have the devil card. Now the devil card talks a lot about, you know, addictions, bad habits, or I should say habits that we don't have control of. Let's not say bad, okay? But if they're doing things to an excess that you feel like you cannot handle. So with the sun card before it, I'm going to take a venture for some of you, since this is a general reading for the Pisceans out there, that it, it, it could be that you're seeing the light on whatever this was that was controlling you, whatever this was that you were held captive to, whatever this was that you felt you could not escape. A crappy job, bad friends, lousy relationship, toxic relationship with a lover, um, 
arguments with family, children, um, plus the normal things that you know you would associate with this card as the tendencies to overindulge in things, whether it is food and, and alcohol, drugs. You know, instead of being responsible with your social activities, you're going to excess where you are feeling this chemical need to keep doing that out of control. Smoking cigarettes, smoking pot, gambling, too much sex, sex with other people, you know, outside of relationships, cheating, lying. All those things are what the devil talks about. But, you know, you could see in the card that those shackles are pretty loose and those people could get free. The devil isn't keeping them in control there. It's just someone to blame for our own, let's say, hmm, well, maybe it would say weaknesses because we are not able to resist them the way we would like to or thought we could. So let's look at that as saying this is a really good time now to say that you will be putting those things behind you or you're seeing the light and the strength. Maybe some of you are in therapy. Maybe some of you are in counseling, you know, or maybe some of you are in um, like a, a detox center. Uh, maybe some of you are sitting down and talking to your loved ones and families and working things out and finding a way to see the light uh, to heal the relationship. Or maybe you see the light and you're saying, this person is so bad for me in my life. Maybe it's an abusive relationship, physically, spiritually, mentally, verbally. It's abuse no matter what. And you see the way to get free once and for all of this relationship. So that's a beautiful thing all the way around for any of you in whatever this context is. Then you have the Six of Pentacles, which is a kind of nice card. You know, I like to call it the Inheritance card. It's like a sum of money coming to you. Okay, yeah, it's tax return season. I get that. And hopefully I'm wishing for all of you the best that you get a nice return or maybe nice birthday presents or, um, or something coming to you that you're wishing for. But this card is also the moon in Taurus in astrology. So there's your emotions. And then Taurus, Taurus is that, that you know, what am I going to get? What can I have? What can I accumulate? Taurus knows how to really manifest things that are tangible in the physical world into their life. They like the toys, the bells and whistles. So this card is talking about balance to number six. It's saying, for you, something is coming to you. Now, for some of you, it is money. You will be getting a nice sum of money, out of, and it seems unexpected out of nowhere. Okay, and the scale you see in the fulcrum in the person's hand is in balance. So it's, it's going to be helping you balance and harmonize yourself financially. You're going to find some balance for a while. Um, for others of you, it's going to say you're finding grounding, stability, or balance within yourself. You know, something that you need that is solid to keep you feeling safe and secure. So if you're getting away from an abusive relationship, you've got a solid foundation for protection now and feeling safe. If it's money, then money is coming to you. Maybe someone's going to be gifting you money or you found some money or there's a legal matter you've been waiting on and you're getting a payoff, you know. Maybe some people are retiring and they're going to get their first check, you know, from Social Security, which is wonderful, mazel, you know. But this is all talking about things coming to you that are tangible in the physical world. Now, if you're a student, I would say that it's talking to you about getting some good grades or better grades than what you were getting before and that you have help coming to you with your studies to help you get it, that you feel solid and grounded again. Um, it also talks about though with this card, like that pay it forward card, when someone gives you a blessing of whatever it is in your life, whether it's money, feeling a, a hug, a support, that you feel grounded and stable again, uh, whatever this is in your life that's going to make you feel that you just received a blessing, whatever it is, remember that blessing came from a source that loved you, whether it's someone you know or in spirit, and remember to help others. And it is not always about money, although it can be, maybe to help someone else, a shoulder to cry on, you know, an, an ear to listen to someone who's in pain, someone to help them uh, get out of a bad situation, advice, guidance. Remember, when it comes to you, pull it, put it forward because that keeps coming and going, coming and going. That cycle for you to someone else to someone else, and it always comes back to you. So that's a really nice card for you. So uh, I'd love to see any comments on that, what it is that you've got as a blessing. And then you have the King of Cups, which is Scorpio, actually. 
that's your sister or brother water sign. And we know that this king, whomever it is, if it's you as a female or male, doesn't matter, is someone who knows how to keep their mental realm and their, their heart, their emotions in check because the kings are the mental realm, the intellect, and their suit, which is the cups. So that's water is emotions. So mentally and emotionally, this is a balance. You're feeling good. You see how your, your throne is sitting on water and you're just floating carelessly looking out to sea? This is a heightened time of intuition for some of you that you're really tapping in and understanding what's coming for you and hearing and seeing signs. For others, it's feeling, okay, I got the financial stability now behind me. I got the drug addiction behind me, the lousy relationship out of my way. Whatever it was that we just talked about in those other three cards, you're feeling good. You know, you're feeling relaxed. You're feeling very calm right now. And for a time being, you are going to feel that. Those ripples underneath you are good vibrations. Good vibrations going out to the universe. And remember, those vibrations resonate back to you and reverberate back from the universe. So that is beautiful. I also was surprised and happy to see the Ten of Cups came out, which is always a lovely card, even in reverse. This is all of the elements air, fire, water, and earth coming together for you. This is time of joy and celebration. And by the way, this card here, the sun, when you reduce the numbers of numerology is a 10. This is a 10. So this talks about new beginnings for you. This is in every phase of your life. Though. Look at those cups and the rainbow. It's your emotions, your job, your career, your schooling, your family, your loved one, um, your health. Uh, whatever it was that was going on in your life that you wanted to buy, if it's the house, the car, you know, whatever. It's a great lifetime vacation you've been saving for. This is joyous celebration all across the board in, in every realm. Mentally, you're feeling good. Physically, uh, emotionally, um, and definitely spiritually, you're feeling fulfilled. That's a beautiful card. And the 10 is new beginnings. So this is all tying in with a beautiful year for you. And then woohoo! Look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. Holy mackerel, Andy. Another Ten for new beginnings, and this is for a lot of you money. This is family money. This is things passed down generationally. A home, you know, maybe a vacation from a home from family, a summer home from family. A car, you, you know, your mo mother's jewelry, your grandmother's earrings, your grandfather's watch. This is something being passed down genera generationally, as you see. Um, you have the young couple there, their children, the older person there. You have, you know, the dogs there in the estate. Here we have the grapes, lush grapes. So we know there's fertility there. Things are growing. You see the cape of the elder, the sign of the moon on there. All phases of the moon are represented here with the stars, too, on the pentacles. So this is having your hopes and wishes and dreams coming true. This is grounding stability in everything. These are the tangible things, yes, that money can buy, but it is also about the things within ourselves in the physical realm, the physical body that keeps us healthy, strong, solid. So these are two gorgeous cards for you to get on top of this. And I'm going to say they're crowning this reading for sure in a beautiful way. Oops, if you would just stay up. So I really love this reading for you, even though the cards are not um, going to help me out here. That's okay. We'll just say that you have a beautiful reading. And let's look forward to you having a beautiful year and a time of celebrating with loved ones and family. And just celebrating yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I'm sorry about these cards falling over, but they're two beautiful cards here. And I think you have a very lovely reading. It's talking about every, every energy here. Life force, the physical force, the, the financial, the emotional, the spiritual, everything coming together for you. So happy birthday once again, Pisceans. I wish you the best. As always, I wish everyone the best. And thank you again for all the new subscribers and all the people who have been with me from the beginning. Thank you so much. And I will look forward to seeing you for the full moon reading that's coming up in Leo and our weekly reading as well.